11-year-old inventor who stunned grown-ups with a blazing idea. It has to do with those heavy sandbags deployed to protect houses from flooding. This kid thought there has to be a better way, so he invented it. ABC's Matt Gutman and the boy who is America strong. Robertson. Peyton Robertson has the enthusiasm of an infomercial king. This new system is a light up. Here he is in his audition tape for this year's Young Scientist contest and the ingenuity of an Edison. I created a prototype of my sandbag. The 11 year old from Fort Lauderdale and his family huddled in a closet as Hurricane Wilma whipped overhead in 2005, watching as the storm brought flooding damage and death. So Peyton, who's been solving math problems since he was three, set off to solve a problem all by himself. You want to start by going to the science room that I set up upstairs? Yes. Okay. His invention, a sandless sandbag. So I used salt in my bag, uh -huh. and I used that so the water inside my bag would be heavier than any approaching water. Do you have any idea what he's saying? No, not really. No, okay. Good. <laughs> but here's the translation. Regular sandbags are heavy. Patents are lighter, making them easier to carry. That's because they're filled with chemicals and salt and only expand when doused with water. It also means less water gets through the cracks. When you add it to water, it expands. Oh. Like any scientist, Peyton knows that field tests are a must. Listen, I'm safe behind your barrier here. Engineers say Peyton's invention is the real deal. He would be a fantastic student here at UM. Until then, Peyton, who won his contest, by the way, will keep tinkering. He's an 11-year-old inventor, and he's America strong. Matt Gutman, ABC News, Fort Lauderdale.